y'all lure peaks for pounds i am out here at grayson highland state park in the mouth of wilson virginia and this is one of my favorite places to hike out here uh, it's uh, maybe about 30 35 miles uh, north of damascus i believe it is so it's a great location um wonderful views we'll see if uh, we get any of those today because it's overcast a little sprinkly but that's okay the temperatures are in high 40s mid 50s and windy as you can hear but those always seem to be the perfect days on trail so i'm out i'm going to do a little loop trail to get my trail legs tested uh, since i've been down with that staph infection we'll see uh, how i'm doing 2.3 miles it's called the massey gap wilburn ridge loop part of it is on the appalachian trail of course and uh, we're going to go out here we're going to see what we can see in grayson highland state park let's go have an adventure Let's keep the wild and wildlife. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see some wild ponies. If not today, then I'm sure we'll have a chance while we're up here. Exciting stuff. You never know what the Appalachian Trail is going to throw at you. This trail is very popular for horseback riding as well. And we are going to head north on the Appalachian Trail, the Appalachian Trail. Those wild ponies are really cool. Hopefully we'll see some more. Maybe, maybe not. I'm sure while I'm up here I'll see some more. Um, I'm curious about the backstory on those ponies. Are they truly wild? Are they feral? Were they put up here originally? Something to do with farming or maintaining vegetation? I don't know. But I'm curious if anybody knows. Uh, leave a comment. All right, Wilburn Ridge, here we come. Appalachian Trail. All these rhododendrons here are going to be blooming in about another month. It's absolutely stunning. Had a lot of mud up here. Rains, heavy rains, thunderstorms yesterday. Gotta watch a step. Y'all see the rocks formation up ahead? Those people up there. From down where I'm standing, they look like aliens. I hope they're people. I'm in no mood for an alien to roll up on me right about now. Kind of cool when it's misty, isn't it? I'm all sucked in with fog and maybe a cloud up here. It's kind of 
weird quiet other than every now and then some day hikers well, like me today i'm a day hiker um go by but it is so still this is a really great place to come and hike if you're somewhat new to hiking but you want to try out a trail that's a little moderate easy to probably more moderate trail and you want to have some views on days that's not socked in like this Grayson Highlands is a great place to come the state park here they have all kinds of trails the Appalachian Trail winds through it um, south to north in fact if you go south um, you will come to the side trail the Blue Blaze to the Mount Rogers summit and Mount Rogers is a high point for the state of Virginia so there's a ton to see up here highly recommend Grayson Highland State Park and it's close to really cool trail towns like Damascus here in another few weeks it's gonna be the big festival trail days I'm gonna see if I can make it up here for that if I'm gonna be in town it is the big festival for for hiking and if you're into it that's certainly something to see but this is a nice little loop trail for more newbie hikers, intermediate hikers. And I'll give you a very small taste of the Appalachian Trail. The AT actually, it can't be more than half a mile to seven tenths of a mile part of this loop. But you still get to hike some of the Appalachian Trail in a very scenic area. So Grayson Highland State Park, check it out. sitting here on a rock eating an orange feeling drained but reminding myself that it is a blessing to be out here man is it a blessing to be out here even when I'm not at my 100% which I don't know if I've ever been 100% but regardless I am very very fortunate to be out here and enjoy this and do this and I am just grateful for the opportunity to get out and hike and see things I've never seen before even if I'm doing it at a much much slower pace than the average person I'm still out here and I'm getting the opportunity to see these things and experience these things I'll tell you a little bit of backstory real quick um I grew up you know, as a kid, as most of us grew up as kids, but in the Atlanta area, Atlanta, Georgia area, and I would look forward to every Saturday morning. This was in the 70s, and you get up, you have your cereal, you watch Scooby-Doo, and you pack your little tin lunchbox, and you head off and you explore the woods. And I would lead the pack. I, I took my brother and my two cousins and I mean, we were young. I was the leader at maybe nine and they went all the way down to four and we would just go out and explore the woods, hike on trails, build tree houses, just take off. It was a different era. And uh, I would look forward to that every single week. Friday came, I knew Saturday morning would be there and Saturday was a day for exploring getting out there and seeing what the woods had for us. Sometimes we'd come upon a patch of blackberries. That was always a treat. Sometimes we would find some old discarded piece of junk and we'd think that was the greatest treasure ever found. But we were out there and we were playing in the woods and that was our dream. Well here, I'm 56 years old and I'm out playing in the woods. 
and I'm hiking up and down trails. I don't have my old tin lunchbox anymore. I wish I did. It was dynamite. Y'all remember dynamite? I had a dynamite tin lunchbox. But here I am, 56 years old, more years behind me than ahead of me, and I'm out playing in the woods on a Saturday. So no matter how I feel, I've come full circle. My life is blessed. So I wanted to share that with you and encourage you to get out there and go explore something. Be a kid again. I was the wrong way. <laughs> and you turn around here and watch for those blazes. And I still don't see one. <sighs> Figure this out. Okay, that's the way I went. And that's the right way. In the blaze. That's the Appalachian Trail. That's where we're headed. I wish there's more of a view to show you, but trust me, it's beautiful. It's still pretty cool now, spooky. I see my blaze. I use far out the uh, navigational app for the Appalachian Trail, long trails, but you can also use all trails, which is good for smaller trails that are like loops like this that tie into other trails like the AT and this one's really AT rhododendron uh, gap trail and the Appalachian spur trail that leads back down around to the parking lot um, so you can use all trails and it's pretty good but it's easy to get turned around because you're not looking at that thing every second but here's our blaze and that is north on the Appalachian Trail. So my friends in Maine, shout out. Put that lobster on ice for me. I'll get there. I'll get there when I get there. But you're on my mind. And welcome back. Deja vu with the rocks. No, I am not in Pennsylvania. Okay, so if we continue in that direction, that's the Appalachian Trail, northbound. We're going to head down here on the Appalachian Spur Trail towards what's known as the Backpackers Lot. You can uh, park your car on that lot and uh, hike up here and camp on these loops. So we are going to head, oh, and I'll show you the other side of this sign. So Thomas Knob Shelter, AT southbound, is 4.6 miles in the direction we just came. And then Scales is a pasture lot, like a fenced-in lot. You can, I believe in camp there, that's 4.7 miles. So there's all kinds of trails up here that loop in and out of the Appalachian Trail. It's a great place to hike for the day, for the weekend. And of course, if you're section hiking or through hiking, you'll pass this way. But we are going to go this way. This moss here I'm walking over is super cushiony on my feet. Speaking of cushiony, I posted a video on my review on my Hoka Speed Goat 5 shoes the other day. And I mentioned that I started using the Superfeet insoles. I'm using them today and so far so good. The Superfeet, the Hoka, and this moss, my feet are happy.
the terrain has changed quite a bit from the rocky highlands up there to this really cool old wood forest here. All the moss that's on the trees haven't started to bloom yet, but it is really cool. There's a looks like there's a tree down here just on the other side of the trail, so I shouldn't have a problem with that. But this is super cool, beautiful, beautiful hike. A lot of different things condensed into a short amount of miles. So if you get up here, do this trail, Massey Gap, Wilburn Ridge Loop. That gate leads down to the backpacker's parking lot, but it's kind of chained shut. I can't open it, so I don't know what that means. I guess it means I'm going this way. We'll figure it out. Okay, I figured it out. The chain was just wedged in there between that board and the metal fence post. Pretty darn good, but I figured it out. Whew, I thought I was going to have to go up that hill and add another mile and a half uphill to go around this, but it didn't make sense because down here's the parking lot where backpackers will park, so it didn't make sense that there's a detour. So sometimes you just gotta take your time, take a minute and figure it out. So we shall carry on. Okay, this is the backpackers parking lot so if you want to backpack up here and uh camp um you know in one of the shelter thomas knob shelter or just go backpack on an overnight trip this is where you would park um and as of the day of this video the grayson highland state park charges i believe it's 15 dollars per night you can leave your car here and then hike up the trails and backpack now to be noted that Grayson Highlands uh, does not allow stealth camping inside the boundaries of the park. So you can't just pitch your tent. You have to camp in designated areas. And they do have bear boxes and stuff like that. There's a very nice campground here um, at Grayson Highlands uh, State Park. But unfortunately, it doesn't open until May 1st. I am camping at another park uh, near Marion tonight called Hungry Mother State Park. I know that sounds weird. Interested to figure out the origins of that name, but that's where I'm camping tonight. But this is Grayson Highland State Park Backpackers Lot. Make a reservation online. I can put the link to their website in the description of this video. We're going to continue this way and reconnect with the uh, area where I came in. All right, y'all. There we have it. Massey Gap, Wilburn Ridge Loop at Grayson Highland State Park. Nice little trail. Get out and stretch your legs. I feel good. It's good to be back on trail. And uh, great place for a hike. Grayson Highlands. I promise there's excellent views here when it's clear. So thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see and you want to follow the rest of my journey and all of my adventures, hit the subscribe button. Until next time. By the way, thanks for sticking with me when I've been down. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already done so, continue to stick with me because I am going somewhere. <laughs>